Well, snowflakes are falling across much of mid-Michigan. Meteorologist Andy Provenzano joins us now for a look at how it will affect our morning commute. You know, they wrote a Grammy-nominated song about tonight's weather. Uh-oh. Yeah. Lay it on me. Sing it. Sing me a couple bars. <laughs> it's all about those flakes, about those flakes. <laughs> no troubles. <laughs> <laughs> I love you yeah, so much. You forced me to. I wasn't going to do it. I was and just going to leave it there. You did just it in front of the newsroom, no less. You, yeah, you yeah, totally. You're exactly right. And you think they're not laughing at me here in the newsroom? <laughs> you're, they are. I'll hug you well, later. Uh, thanks. Take a look and see what's going on on the uh, advisory map. We still have a winter weather advisory. The next couple of hours are really the most important, but there will be a little bit of mist coming in on the back side of this, so there could be some of that freezing to the windshields and things like that later on tonight. But you see the bulk of the snow has got a back edge. The uh, certainly going to be still maybe an additional inch of snowfall that is out there. When you look at the visibilities, they're not all that low. This is really light flakes, small flakes, light snow. So it's not adding up to much, but it's been steady since 7 o'clock. And the back edge is now on the other side of the lake. As I've mentioned, though, we do have temperatures up a little bit above in the atmosphere where they're getting closer to the freezing mark or just above. It's a little bit of mist will form, and we'll stay in the mid-20s tonight, so you might find a little bit of that. The high temperatures of the day are really almost the current readings in the mid-20s. We hold there the most the rest of the night and through the daytime tomorrow. Then fall as winds turn back to the northwest. And you see those temperatures that are back there, 6 in Eau Claire. The sky's clearing out on the back side of the system. Winds will go northerly, and by this time tomorrow night, we'll see temperatures falling, and we could even go below zero without the wind chill. Here's a little wider view. As the low pressure is coming across the southern end of Lake Michigan, it'll move right across to the east, and that will put us in a lot of cloud cover for tomorrow. And there is a trailing cold front that's got to go through, and that could be a focal point for more snowfall tomorrow afternoon. I'll show you that in just a second. But we almost got that connection going again from the middle of the Pacific Ocean all the way up into the Seattle, Oregon, coming eastward. The system that's over us now came that route. There'll be another one Friday night, Saturday, and then one over the weekend. Not a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico coming up our way with these next couple of systems, but that might be a different story on Sunday. We might have another all-day snow to watch for, out for. But here's the, the forecast model. Shows the light snow over us now and then pulling away. And as we get to 7 a.m. or so, a lot of that's out of the region. There'll be a little bit of mist or maybe a few, a few snowflakes, but not the steady snow we're seeing now. The corner of your screen, the bottom corner, left-hand side, watch that. It's a disturbance that's going to ride up the cold front, and I think we see a little bit of that snow get in towards the afternoon hour, especially in south and southeast sections of mid-Michigan, and then by evening it's gone. But then we turn our winds to the north and bring the cold air in. It's going to be a sunny Thursday. The wind chill readings could be 15 below going into Thursday morning, and we're looking at temperatures, actual air th temperatures, that only gets to about 12 in the afternoon. Some milder Pacific air moves back in, so we'll get back in the 20s Friday. It should be close to freezing on Saturday before the next chance of snow. So you see the snowfall, the predicted snowfall, just uh, probably pretty close to what everybody's going to get, around two inches or so. The cold air is just to the north, but that comes down tomorrow night into Thursday, then goes back north, and then it'll come back down again Sunday night and Monday, as highs by Monday are only in the teens. So about a one to three inch accumulation. 3 would be on the high side of things. All of the light snow ends around 3 a.m., but a little bit of mist will be available into the morning hours, and uh, that could stick to, I think with the snow down, it's good news, but could stick to the windshield or your uh, drive handles, those kind of things. 13 on Thursday. Friday's windy. We cloud up 22 degrees after sub-zero starts, and then slight snow Saturday, and then a better chance of snow Sunday into Monday morning, and following that will be more in the way of cold. So this is not the only snow of the week. Make sure your snow shovel or snow blower is close by. It'll be needed.